In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a slightly slower method of using a layer mask to make part of an image disappear. And this is uh, an example of a picture where the background is not completely just one color. And because of that, it's going to be a little more difficult for us to use the selection method to cut the image out using a layer mask. So what I'm going to do instead of using a selection method is I'm going to use the paintbrush right off the bat to make part of the picture disappear. So first off I create a layer mask and then I want to make sure that I have my brush tool selected and black is going to make part of the picture disappear, white is going to make it stay. Right now the entire layer mask is white so I'm going to be painting with black to make parts of the picture disappear. All right, so I can start with larger brush, work my way around the object, and start making larger parts disappear that I know that I don't need. Okay, and then I'm going to be zooming in and using a smaller brush to then go along the edges of the object. With this method you definitely need to change the hardness of the brush to make it so that your edges are a lot more crisp. So right now I think I'm, my hardness is set about 50%. Um, increasing the hardness is going to make the edge a little bit more clear, but that's kind of what you want when it comes to a real straight edge on an object that you're selecting. So you can see how this method is going to take a lot longer than the previous two methods that I've shown you. But just be patient and realize that by using a layer mask you can always paint back areas that you make a mistake on by switching to white. So, whoops, there we go. I need to paint back certain parts so I switch to white and I can just paint them right on back. Okay. It takes a little bit longer. Um, you definitely need to have the patience to work with this. Sometimes it works better just to find a picture that you're working with that has a straight background so you can use the selection method instead of needing to work with the paintbrush with a lot more detail like this. All right, so that's the method. Try to figure out what works best. Start with the selection method first. If that doesn't work, then move to this method.